Uh, trip's going well. Friday night, here we are on Lake Lucerne. What a view. Lots of antique planes in the air and all our yearly uh, event seems to be getting better with each year. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and here we are in the heart of the city of Lucerne. Excuse me. Does anybody speak English? Yeah. <laughs> English. <laughs> Things won't get weird. This is kind of cool. This is the uh, ancient bridge over the Rhine River. Our last stop on this amazing tour of Switzerland is Lucerne. And the first stop in Lucerne is the Lion Monument. This monument is nestled in a little rocky grotto near a park and it was unveiled in 1821. The dying lion of Lucerne was sculpted from the rock of this cliff. It commemorates the Swiss guardsmen who died in 1792 during the French Revolution, where they were stationed to protect the king. The lion was to symbolize the soldier's courage, strength, and willingness to die rather than to betray their oath of service. It was dedicated on the 29th anniversary of the storming of the Tuileries Palace in Paris, France. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah. And it's all chiseled into the rock. So it's not just put in into the niche, it's all part of the rock. And the rock is sandstone. Okay? And you will see something there. Now there is a lot of, there's a little bit of, you know, symbolism here. First of all, uh, what do we see? Um, next to the, the, the lion. So the lion, his eyes are closed, so he's dying. He's being injured with a spear. So the end, uh, so, uh, part of the spear is in his back, and the rest of it is has come right, is here next to the shield. Do you see that? Um, so he is symbolizing the fallen Swiss guards. So they were used by uh, the French, by um, the, the Swiss, and they were sought after. So the French kings wanted these Swiss guards, they knew they were well trained to protect, in this case, in this particular place. Uh, trip's going well. Friday night, here we are on Lake Lucerne. What a view. What an amazing day. <laughs> Weather has been perfect. It's held up great. Uh, the crew is excited. Gonna take a nice uh, evening cruise on the lake. It's a, it's a rotary. At least it sounds like a rotary. Lots of antique planes in the air and nice warm evening. Nice calm lake, Lucerne. What a night. Here we go. Friday night. So good evening again ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board of the motor ship. Starts a horn. About an hour we will spend together on the lake of the four forest states. I give you a bit of explanation about the lake and also I'll talk to you what we're going to see along the way. But first and most important, as you already I think Anna is behind the view. Can you drink for everybody? <laughs> Which means you have the choice. Could be the local beer from Lucerne, the I hope could be white or red wine <laughs> from the French part. Gives 
Time. So all of these lakes formed by a melting glacier, these are glacier formed lakes formed thousands of years ago. But you can see the city pretty much built around the lake. This is the old town out there, the old city. Beautiful, picturesque, gorgeous. And what would Switzerland be without the mountains? Captain Dave and uh, First Mate Debbie, cheers, cheering for the crowd. Uh, narrate will be extra charge. Uh, Thank you. You're all part of the audience. Yes, you're, you're getting in on this. You ain't getting out of it. At Wagner's house. Well, Wagner's trees. There's, there's all these Wagner's beautiful trees. And we're coming up on his actual home, or the one he stayed in. Ah, there it is, with the green shutters. The Wagner home. Currently, he is not at home. or a small apartment area. Well, our yearly uh, event seems to be getting better with each year. Yeah, of course, this year, Switzerland, uh, we do have another upcoming event next year, early next year this time, uh, where we will be going to the Mexican Riviera. People wonder, okay, Dave, what, what are you doing now? For those of you who know me, you know I started a manufacturing company in 2007. That company was acquired by a German company in October 2021. Um, I was dismissed in January of this year uh, to my own uh, recognizance and uh, was kind of looking around in a way to preserve what I had. And I determined that the best way to do that was something that's never been bad, has never done me wrong. And that is real estate, real estate investments. So we started a little company called Quantum Fly Capital Group. Hopefully you hear something that you like and that you agree with, because after all, we're investing our own money in this. You'll hear more, just keep watching the channel. Hey, thanks again for liking and subscribing. You do that by hitting the subscribe button. I'll put one here. 
and uh, it'll ring that bell if you want to be notified of new videos. Don't forget to like it too. That helps the algorithm. So the back side looks totally different. Yeah, probably. There it is, our next investment right there. <laughs> A very famous hotel management training school. And the wood building here in front of us to the right, I'm out of the lake. Another small bathing area. Looks new. It's older than one. Good grief! Bathing area inside. They have two small swimming pools. One Look at the, the people left. on top! The other one to the right. Separated. Because in the older times, one side for ladies only, the other side for men, of course. What about. Uh, 100 years old. And here we are in the heart of the city of Lucerne. In front of us to the right, you see a few towers in between the houses. Those are all the towers from the old defense wall of Lucerne. Towers the wall to date back to the 14th century. And if you feel like having your lucky day today, here on the right, the yellow building, this is the gambling casino of Lucerne. Casino open from noon till four in the morning. Plenty of time to win. Island. Very picturesque here in Lucerne, particularly this time of day. It's at six thirty. Ice. We have air conditioning inside, so it's not going to be hot and stuffy. And the restaurant is here, but it's um, a lot of these squares on this side of the town are like this. So if you go go back a little bit here, a lot of this area. So we're in a Catholic canton, a lot of churches, and they like to have a good time. <laughs> in addition to praying. Um, so carnival is a pagan tradition, so it has pagan roots, um, and it's traditional to wear masks, it's traditional also to wear all kinds of clothes, you know, funny clothes, sometimes, you know, they wear masks, they wear, you know, some are very pretty clothes, but all different kinds of clothes, um, but also they have a good time, and we, we call carnival, in, in, um, in French it's Mardi Gras, yeah, which means Fat Tuesday. So everybody eats everything, whatever they can eat, get it down, and drink whatever they can, have a party, lots of music, this sort of thing. And there's a big parade. So they go, they walk and walk, play music, and, it, and youngsters are all dressed up. It's a great thing to see. Yep. Okay, time for our 
authentic German uh, dinner tonight here at the Stud Keller. Uh, very authentic looking German beer hall. And uh, we're going to do some uh, fondue, which is very Swiss. And uh, I'm sure Double D is going to have a beer or two. I know I will. Here we go. August and September, as it turns out, is a great time to be in the Appenzell region as the people participate in a long-held tradition. With the onset of autumn, farmers across Switzerland return their herds of cows, sheep, and goats from the high-altitude pastures. This age-old tradition, also known as the Alpine Cow Parade, marks a milestone in a farmer's year. Alpenhorns, cowbells, bright clothing, yodeling, and folk music mark this significant time of year for the Swiss people. This is the essence of this very Swiss influenced presentation of all forms of celebrations in welcoming the herd back into the valley for the winter. Excuse me? Does anybody speak English? Yeah. <laughs> English? Hello and good evening. I'm very happy to welcome you on behalf of the whole staff, musician, dancers, and singing here at the famous Stockholm number seven. Tonight we present you the one and only unique and authentic Swiss folklore show in which you will see many, many custom and habits from all around the world. Tonight we'll even know a Swiss folklore dance. And some of you have the opportunity to come to the stage and sing a Swiss yodeling song with me.
Ah yes, the cows begin their journey down the mountain to the safety and warmth of the valley. Unfortunately, after all the beer and festivities, some of the non-locals can get a little rowdy about this time. If you have small children watching, uh, now may be a good time to shield their innocent eyes. Someone in our group just might have gotten a little too close and a little too personal. See if you can spot the awkward moment. Did you catch it? I got it. I'm filming it. Get my Kind of cool. This is the uh, ancient bridge over the Rhine River, uh, which leads into Lucerne Lake. This bridge, well, burned down in 1995. They had to rebuild it, but uh, other than that, it's it's a really historic bridge. And the middle of it is the octagon, which is uh, a tower, and they used it for. Uh, prisoners and a number of other purposes so pretty neat little piece of history here they got it all lit up it's gorgeous here in downtown lucerne at night what a fun. okay lucerne really a lot more german feel something i'm used to something i love that whole authentic german feel down home meat and potatoes uh, this is very much a Swiss city with a lot of different uh, foreign influences. Of course, you know, they're bordered on one side by Germany, they're bordered on another side by Italy, and then uh, yet another by France. So, and, and Austria, actually four, when you think about it, four different countries. So in this area, in this eastern area of the country, very, very much German influence. Uh, in Lucerne, so uh, we, we kind of witnessed that tonight with the with the program, with the uh, dinner we had. So, really beautiful city, very clean city, well cared for. So it's impressive. Day eight. Here we are in the tiny little hamlet of Giswil, Switzerland. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I, hey, I've got a, every angle covered here. You ready? Double D? I mean, you're beaming with excitement this morning. <laughs>
can't even put into words <laughs> what this view is like behind me. Look, they got these lights. I wonder if what they kind of.